Hey everybody, it is Steve with SBL Games. Thanks for dropping in. I'm a little disappointed, unfortunately I lost a lot of footage right now from having butterfingers, but uh... <laughs> we have a unit I'm pretty sure had a milk spilled into it. Um, this is just residue that I couldn't get off. I used the most purest IPA I could find, 99.999. You have to keep the lid on or it literally starts evaporating, but that's the cleanest I could get at it left a little bit of residue but before it was really bad I had again what I believe to be milk spilled on it so now we are inside I was about to do the repair but I was just explaining and showing how dirty it was and how it's going to need the thermal compound replaced I'm gonna replace the thermal pads we're gonna give it a whole little makeover basically and uh, most shops don't do anything like this they'll just literally fix the issue leave it all filthy, slap it all back together, and send it on its way. But that's why you want to choose SBL Games, right? Anyhow, moving forward. All right, and we are back. So yeah, this is why, this is why, this is exactly why I include deep cleaning, thermal compound replacement, built into a lot of the repairs we do here. So HDMI port, especially except for the ps5 on the ps5 we just do a deep cleaning uh, the liquid thermal compound rarely needs any added so if it does usually that means some was knocked out or removed or something along those lines i don't have the sneaky suspicion it's gonna run better <laughs> We still do have to address this whole area, the fan, and the, I call it the chassis. It's like what everything sits in. If I was to remove the disk drive here and then flip it over and remove the fan, it's just one big plastic piece and all the components sit inside of it. So I just call it the chassis. But yeah, either way, we have to pull out this fan. I do a fan test, make sure the fan's good, clean out the whole unit there. Then we could do the HDMI port replacement, which again is the original issue, ironically. And then we will go ahead and bolt her up, get her tested. Alright, so although my pants are now covered in dust, the chassis is now clean. The fan test good. It's not the healthiest, but it is good. So we'll go ahead and put that back in. Get the now clean heat sink back in put some fresh compound actually no we'll wait for the compound when we reassemble so let's just get the fan and the heat sink back in then let's do the hdmi port chunky cam 2.0 take care of all that for you too don't worry all right we got all the usual suspects lux lomo let's get this bad port off all right we're back we got the port off Luckily, it doesn't look like there's any rip pads, so we're gonna get this factory solder off. Get some quality solder on there, and uh, get this bad boy fixed. And then we still have to replace the crappy factory compound as well. All right, got the replacement port on there. Let's go ahead and get her bolted up with some fresh compound and get her tested. And that is the final outcome. Nice, solid, shiny solder joints. Same with the pins. Nice, clean solder work. Bolt her up the tester. This video, by the way, goes out to Angel. Angel, I cleaned up this, what I'm guessing is milk the best I could, but that is what's left. And let's get her all tested up. Alright, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I am late for my appointment. I gotta go. Thanks for watching.